on here. I was sweeping up the parking lot doing my morning duties. And I hear a loud crash. And I thought it was a semi truck going over the train tracks, but then I turned around. And a car actually crashed into one of the, uh, the support wires for the tower. So the tower came falling down, falling some power lines. And that in turn fell on a truck. The power lines kind of hit the street, started whipping around and sparking and stuff. And uh, the power's been out since then. So we don't know what time it is. And tomorrow we have to take all that frozen stuff to another gas city. So now we have to write them off or whatever. Uh, they've been out here all morning working on it, but who knows how long it's going to take. And this is the, one of our towers we use to access to the internet. And we're currently uh, being down, our customers, uh, a couple thousand customers are down. And we're going to figure out a way to reroute it. And uh, it's a 300 foot tower. It's been up, I don't know, it's probably 30 years old, I would say at least. And uh, it's, uh, it's a shame. But you said it's about 90% internet service? It's not 90% internet, yeah. There's a couple of paging companies that are still on it, but paging is kind of like yeah. the, a dying technology. So, But the, the guys that own the equipment that give us the service, they've got the, quite a few customers on there too. So this is one of our main backhaul sites. So they, they feed a lot of people from here. It's a shame, it's surprising it hasn't happened before, I guess, but those guy points were right out by the road. So, uh, something else.